What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to consume the Strapi GraphQL API so that we can fetch data from the Strapi headless CMS in our next 3 application. We are going to quickly review our data model in Strapi and perform some queries using the GraphQL playground that is provided by Strapi when we install the GraphQL plugin. Finally, we are going to use the Apollo library to create a custom GraphQL client in our next 3 application. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. I have Strapi running in my local environment. This is the shop content type that we created on a previous video. I'm going to put the link to that video here. And we added some data for that content type. I installed the GraphQL plugin. And when we install the GraphQL plugin in Strapi, it generates the GraphQL schema for that content type. Actually, this content type. Okay, let's go to the Strapi project and let me show you the GraphQL schema. Here we have this schema where we have, for example, have the shop type with an identifier, the title, the company, the location, the language, and these fields that are provided by Strapi. And we also have some other types. For example, we have the input type to create shops. I guess this is here somewhere. Here we go. This is the shop input. So if we want to create a mutation, to add a new shop in Strapi using the GraphQL API, we need to use this shop input type where we have the title, company, and the rest of the fields. There is another tool provided by Strapi when we install the GraphQL plugin that is a GraphQL playground where we can run GraphQL queries using this model. So let's open the GraphQL playground. Okay, and here we can run our queries, for example, to get this list of shops. So here we can do query and here we can use the schema that we can see here and it's going to auto complete our query here let's close this and here we can do shops and we can include the properties that we want so let's say identifier the title of the shop the location and the company and let's do the language so we get all the fields from that content type. I'm going to run this query. And as we can see here, we get the three records that we have here in the CMS. Okay, now we are going to copy this query and we're going to create our GraphQL client in Next.js to get this data and render the data in our Next.js components. Just in case you don't know how to set up GraphQL in Strapi, I'm going to put a link to that video here where I explain how to do it. Okay, now let's go to our next JS project. And this is the shops page in our next JS project where we are rendering the data that we get from this data file. Here we have the list of shops that has the same structure that we have in our content type for Strapi. So we are going to remove this import and instead of getting the data from that file, we're going to use the Apollo client library to fetch the data from the Strapi GraphQL API. So first I'm going to install the libraries. We need to install actually two libraries. So this is npm install and here we need to install Apollo client and GraphQL. Okay, now we have the GraphQL and the Apollo client libraries installed in our next JS project. Now we are going to add a new environment variable here. This will be the endpoint of the Strapi GraphQL API. We are going to grab this from the playground. So this is the URL. I'm going to name it Strapi GraphQL API. And I'm going to paste that value in here. Okay, now I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it GraphQL. And I'm going to add a new file where I'm going to put the queries that we're going to perform. I'm going to call it queries.js. And here I'm going to add a new constant where I'm going to put a query to get the list of existing shops. That is going to be actually this query that we have here. I'm going to call it get all shops. Here we need to import SheetQL to define this GraphQL query. So this is import SheetQL. 
and we need to import GQL from the Apollo client library. So this is at Apollo slash client. This is GQL. And here we need to use backticks and add this GraphQL query that we have here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, I'm going to export this constant that includes the query that we need to get the list of shops. So here is, this is get all shops. Now let's go to the index page. Let's close this and this, and let's remove this import where we get the list of shops from the file. And here we're going to create the GraphQL client. So this is const client equals to new Apollo client. And here we need to pass an object to the constructor with two properties, the URI, that in our case is an environment variable, process.env. And I'm going to copy the name of the environment variable from here. And I'm going to paste it here. And the other property is cache. In this case, we're going to use an in-memory solution. So this is new in-memory cache. This is actually provided by the Apollo client library itself. Here we have the libraries imported. And the next thing we need to import is the query that we define here within the GraphQL folder. So this is import. This is get all shops from, and this is GraphQL queries. And here we are going to run that query. So this is const, and this is data. And here, this is await client dot query. And we need to pass an object with a property that is actually the query that we want to run. So this is get all shops. And here we need to pass data dot shops. If we go to the playground, here we can see what is the structure that is returned when we run this query. We have data and within the data object, we have shops that is the array with the list of shops. Let's go back and now we can build and run the application. npm run build. And now we can run the application npm run dev. Okay, now let's open the shops page. And as we can see here, we get the list of shops. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.